Well, I've started another project and I wasn't going to bother filming this, but I thought people might get the shits if they see this tool being made, being used, and they didn't see any shape or action. So what I'm going to make is a square collet block for the ER40. Um, I had a few comments the other day on the last video when I held that, that collar chuck in the vice. It's pretty sketchy, I suppose. And I thought, well, might as well just make a collar block, make a square. If that works out all right, I'll make a hexagon one. So I've a piece of, I think it's 4140. It tur certainly turned on the lathe like 4140. So I turned it down to 70 mil. I'm um, going to have a 50 mil square on it. Then I'll chuck it back up in the forge or and put the the ER feature on the end of it. So I've done one side. I'm just got to take about another seven mil off this side, which I'm again working in metric and imperial. So we're going to have a go. I've been doing 50 thou depths of cut. Um, I'm going to try 75. 50, 60, 70, 5, we're going to see how it goes anyway, nothing to lose, everything to gain, we'll see what happens, it's only got a 5 thou step over, if this seems like it's too much I'll knock it back to 50 again. Things barely matter, right? Another 200 and bit, just over 200 there to come off now. Tempted to try 100 there. It's a hundred thou. See how that goes. It's a hundred thou, that one. Okay, I've just measured that up. I've got about just under half a thou taper, which I'm not concerned about. I'm not worrying about that at all. I'm not going to try and chase that, but we're right on, right on the money. So I'm going to flip this over now and take the 
two other faces down. Okay, we've got the shear tool set up with a fresh hone. And I've got a three cat three thou cut set. This should bring it to 1.969, which is 50 mil. Um, I don't have a metric depth mic, so I've just been doing with an imperial one. So this should be all going well. This should bring us right to dimension. That was a nice finish, good reflection off it. That was a three thou cut. That's about the top end of what like depth of cut I'd sort of like on a shear tool. I don't like taking any more than say no more than four at the most. So the three's three's about the limit I reckon, in my opinion anyway. But it's a super nice finish, I can see the reflection there, so Nice. Measure it up and see how close I got. Okay, I've just measured that up. I've got about just under half a thou taper, which I'm not concerned about. I'm not worrying about that at all. I'm not going to try and chase that, but we're right on, right on the money. So I'm going to flip this over now and take the two other faces down. Okay, just set this up to cut the top off. Got to sit on two parallels. Dial indicator. And just kept bumping around until I got it spot on. So I'm happy where, where that is now. So, took a little bit of time, bit of fiddling around, but it was worth it. Well, it's going to be worth it, I think. So the vice is super tight. So I've got to take 10 mil off from touch off. Yeah, and we do it all again. I just gave that tool a quick rub on a stone too. Hone the edge back up. I might bring you guys back later when I'm getting down a fair way. fourth hour up at the moment so I'll dial four in and whatever it ends up it ends up it'll be darn close well there's the third side done I'll tell you what it is friggin hot here today absolutely sweltering man oh man it's nearly time to call it quits for the day I think and send her inside to, to the air con it's bloody hot here um, I'm happy with that finish. So I'm going to flip it over now and we'll do the remaining side. I might, might get it done today, I'm not sure. It's fourth out. A bit of fiddling, but we got it. <coughs> Give that a go.
get that cleaned up and we'll have a measure again. I reckon we nearly throw it on the money. Don't know how well you can see that, but... One point nine six eight. One point nine six eight. Certainly hit the numbers. All right, we'll get it set up in the four jaw. All right, I've got this set up in the four jaw. Got some aluminium blocks under the jaws. Been a bit of time. It's within half a thou. Spot on. There, a little bit less than a thou. So, a little bit of tweaking to do. Now, obviously, when I cut this on the um, shaper, it wasn't 100% lined up. Like, it's not that center that's in there is not true now. Um, let's probably wash that out a bit there now. But if you have a look at that bevel there, compare this other side. I'm a fraction off. So that was a f them two f corners there. Yeah, they've got more of a radius left on these two than these two. If you get what I mean. I'm a fraction out, but if you have a look at that um, center in there. Pick it up there, it's wobbling around a bit, so obviously I was a bit out, fraction out. So, what I'll probably do is just run an end mill in there to square that hole up in the tailstock, just to square it out. So, we're nearly ready to start turning the um, turn this down to put the uh, ER features on the end which is that thread and that taper which these need a good clean so imagine that sitting on the end of there and we'll have ourselves a square collar block that might be tomorrow's job or the next day see how I feel
that's okay. Okay, we're right down on dimension for the thread, um, which turned out really good. Nearly overshot it, but caught myself just in time. So I might put the thread on there now. Um, I think it's a 50 by 1.5 for memory, from when I've done the last AR40 collar fits. Uh, it's got a slight taper on the, just a just a guess taper, nothing drastic. But uh, so far so good. Okay, this thread is 1.5 pitch by 50 mil thread. So I've got compound set at 60 degrees. Quick change gearbox is set to 1.5. I'm going to do a scratch pass just to confirm, make sure I haven't screwed it up. Um, I think we're pretty much right to go. Looks good, I think. Oh shit, that does look good. That's going all the way home. That's an awesome result. And there's no wriggle. Perfect. Super, super, super happy with that. Okay. Nice. I can put the um, center bore through now and do the eight degree taper on the internal. Got the internal bore out to inch and five. I don't know what it is. Inch and five sixty fourths. So I can bore that now. I'll let that cool down though. It's got to be bored, and then put the taper on, and then this job's finished.
feels smooth. It's only three thou off an inch and a quarter, which is the same. Yeah. I'm going to leave it at that. So now, now I'll set up to do the eight degree taper. Okay, I've set the taper on the compound slide to eight degrees. To do that, I've used angle blocks or angle yeah angle blocks here and a five and a three. Um, just got them held with a magnet on the side of the compound. You've seen the indicator hanging off the truck, and it's not moving. Got a half hour indicator. So, look, there's a couple of tents in it, if that. So I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna go try and chase that out. I think it'll be plenty good enough. So I'm gonna chop, swap this boron bar out, possibly for a smaller one, because I'm a bit worried when I go in on the on the angle. It may be right. I'd give it a go. I'm gonna shorten it up a lot, obviously. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah, the hang. Short it up and I'll start cutting this tape. It's got to finish at 40 mil at this end. So this hole has to be 40 mil. insert around I reckon it's getting a bit dull okay I've sort of stuffed around with a couple of boring bars end up with a new tip changed out the bar and sort of getting a good finish now Not bad. You can see, see we've got a couple of mil to go. Three mil. Three mil on half side. Get a bit of um, bear and blue and put on the collet. <laughs> so, yeah, I forgot, <laughs> forgot about doing that actually. Get a bit of bear and blue and put on the collet and see how close I am. I'm pretty sure I'm reasonably close. Just got some bear and blue on there. Not too bad. I don't know how else you check it to be honest. Um, any other ways to wipe that one out? Wipe this one off. I've put a little bit of bear and blue inside the 
Check. I'd be happy with that. I don't know where else to cover it, but to, to check it, I think that's. Get the even coverage. That'll do. We're close. It's cl plenty close enough for what I'm going to do with it anyway. So I've just got to get it out to the one dimension. This bear and blue shit gets everywhere. Jesus. Death five seconds and I've got it from one end of the joint to the other. So rough measurements. We've got the 40 mil. Might just hit that, spend a bit of time with some wet and dry and just make that up a little bit. Okay, I'll just spend a few minutes with some wet and dry and I'm. That's going to show up. Just got a torch here. I'm trying to show you the inside there. Look, it feels smooth. It just doesn't look smooth. And I guess this we're having a. Um, tool post grind and really shine which I've got half one but we'll go into that later um, but I'm going to leave it at that I'm just going to chamfer this edge Take it out of the chuck now and just deburr this by hand, and um, I reckon the job's done. Okay, this is a piece of high speed steel, oh, yeah, high speed steel bar or rod I had slain in the drawer. Um, I don't know its history, it's a piece I was given so. Less, yeah, less than half a thou of run out. I don't know whether you can pick it up in the dial or not. When you're getting glared out, but that's less than half a thou of run out. So I'm going to call that a win. Um, considering it's only going to be jammed in a vice and held in a vice, yeah, for work holding. I think that'll be plenty good enough. So I know the collet's pulling up nice and square anyway. So this job is just about done. I can pull it out, deburr it, and she's all over Red Rover. That's how it ended up. Good mark on it there. Anyway. We have a good file up. Just use some needle files. And um, deburred all the corners. Missed a bit, sort of scratching it. But uh, super happy.
happy, I'm really happy with that thread. It turned out absolutely beautiful. Jeez, it goes up tight too. So I'm pretty stoked. Um, now this one's worked out okay. I might, I don't know for sure, but I might have a crack at doing it a, um, like a hex block. Because um, that will be handy to have as well. Yeah, to a um, six-sided block. At some stage. But after I'd done that job the other day and holding that ER32 collet chuck in the vice like I did, it was getting a bit ordinary, that. Yeah, it's not, not the best way to do it, is it? So I think this is going to be well worth it. Anyway, thanks for following along. Hope you've enjoyed that. Just a quick video. Oh, I think it's going to be quick. I haven't edited it yet. Uh, hope you enjoyed that. So, thanks for watching. <laughs>